Hello there, welcome to Watson's Daily TV. I'm Peter Watson and I'm here with my take on two major topics in today's business news distilled for you in three minutes. Can I beat this buzzer? Today I'm going to talk about Huawei and Abercrombie & Fitch. Huawei has warned that the US ban in dealing with them is going to hurt around 1,200 US suppliers who use their technology. The total ban on dealing with Huawei will come into force in the middle of August in order to give US companies time to rejig their supply chains. China is trying to fight back, however, announcing tax breaks last week to support the tech industry, and it has also threatened to restrict the supply of rare earths in retaliation. Rare earth metals are used in cancer treatment drugs, smartphones and renewable energy tech, and China controls the vast majority of the world's supply. The thing is that rare metals aren't actually all that rare. It's just that the process to extract them is expensive and damaging to the environment. Still, it is a fight back and global, um, global stock markets fell in response. In a way, this trade war might actually benefit both the Americans and the Chinese long term, as the Americans will be able to protect their intellectual property and China will become more self-sufficient. In the meantime, companies like Nokia and Ericsson are fighting over the contracts to replace all the Chinese gear. 5G is definitely looking like, like it'll help both uh, Ericsson and Nokia uh, get back in the game. The other thing I wanted to highlight today was disappointment in preppy apparel retailer Abercrombie & Fitch. Uh, investor excitement has been gathering uh, about a turnaround in fortunes for the company until it announced weaker sales and a downbeat outlook yesterday. Its shares fell by a chunky 26% in response to the news and it just goes to show how difficult this sector of retail is at the moment with the likes of Coles, JCPenney and Nordstrom all showing weaker trends. The company blamed lower footfall in malls and announced that it would be closing flagship stores in New York, Milan and Japan, but the costs involved in doing that will hit second quarter results. Other than that, in my Watson's online daily blog that you can find on watsonsdaily.com, I talk about Aldi and Lidl's continued assault on the big four supermarkets, GBK's ongoing problems, falling UK car production and train lines imminent stock market flotation. Anyway, Watson's Daily is intended to give you the essence of the day's commercial news with opinion. You can read the whole thing in anything between one and seven minutes. So please go to watsonsdaily.com to find out more if you're interested. See you tomorrow and thanks for watching. Watson, out.